Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to episode 170, Inked and Tiled. Um, I'm not doing any tiling today, so um, we're just going to do inking. Right, um, what do I need to tell you? Quite a lot, actually. Um, if you place an order with me for 25 bucks or more, I'll send you the card pieces that you need to make these cards. Um, if you share my live, I'll add you to the raffle. We'll do the raffle for last week shortly. And I realized I had forgotten to tell you that throughout June, so ending on June 30th, you can buy certain DSPs for 15% off, which is a good deal. So if you need any DSP, now is a good time to get it. If you've got someone that is interested in becoming a demo or you're interested in becoming a demo, um, same time frame, all of June, uh, you get $155 worth of product of your choice for um, just $99. And after that, you get a 20% discount, which you can push up by um, by raising up, rising up the ranks. Um, but you'll always get a 20% discount, at least. So that's worth thinking about, too. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do... Um, you don't have to do Facebook Lives, you don't have to do classes, you don't have to do anything but enjoy your um, your discount, which is what it is, basically a 20% discount. So, um, I think that's all I need to tell you. That's probably quite enough for you. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to turn you down so that we can do last week's raffle. So, let me just move this. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Let's put you down. There we go. There. You won't actually have my faith in your, filling your entire screen. That's good. So I've got Diana, Kim, Barbara, and Kathy. And it is number one, which is Diana. Okay. So I've been diligently posting my cards this week. And I just discovered that they haven't been pushing over to Facebook. So I'm going to have to figure out what is going wrong there. I have no idea. At this point, it just suddenly stopped going from WordPress to Facebook as of last week sometime. I don't usually check um, Facebook to see if they have um, transferred across, but maybe I should start doing that. So, anyway, so if you've been looking for cards from me this week on Facebook, that's where they uh, are. They're not there, and you'd have to look at my blog to see them. Okay, so this is the inked and tiled well, actually, let me show you this first, right? Hmm. So I need to keep it about here. Just seems like there's more space. Oh, it says stars enabled, but I think you can see through that. So anyway, here's the first one. Very simple. Got these lovely um, in-color 
guy. Um, oh, they're in color pearls. 2022 to 24 in color pearls. Then I've got this, which I don't know if you can see, it's got Wink of Stella on it. And then I decided to make some DSP. And I just added uh, another color for that. So what colors am I using? I hear you say, well, I don't actually hear you, but you might have asked that. So for the first one, I used Orchid Oasis and Shaded Spruce. This one is Orchid Oasis, Lost Lagoon and Melon Mambo. Just wanted a pop of colour on that one. And this one is Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis and Pretty Peacock. So, i get out my pack of pieces and we can get started. Ah, I think I'm upside down. I am upside down because it should be white first. Okay then, right. Now I found it easier to do this one using the Stamparatus, which you may or may not have. Is that where it was going to go? No. Okay. And I don't need this piece either. Because it's not a photopolymer. So, okay, I'll just mess this up. <laughs> I kind of want it in the middle. So, now that we've taken that away, no. Not really. to go so I'll just put that down right now I'm going to use the stamp and write mark because as mentioned before this one's shaded spruce these are distinctive stamps I love getting extra detail for nothing, really. It is for nothing, because you don't do anything extra. You just stamp them and it turns up. It's pretty cool. And then I'm going to use or o uh, Orchid Oasis. Can't talk this morning. Haven't had any coffee yet. Too risky to have coffee before alive, you never know when it's going to kick in and you have to run to the bathroom, which is not a good thing to do in the middle of a live, so I don't drink it beforehand. But in case you're wondering why I look so tired, I have managed to um, catch my toe a couple of days ago and it was itching like crazy last night as I was trying to sleep. It kept me awake for a couple of hours. So I'm like, yeah, a little on the tired side. Now I'm just going to stick my head in and um, huff on it to moisten things a bit. And let's see what we get. Ah, oh, it's exactly what I want. Just slide that over, take this out, and move that out of the way. So, perfect. So now, I want to put the birthday greeting on. Let's put this straight first. Am 
line it up with the grid paper. That's good. I'll need that one for the next card, so I'll just leave it there. Now I'm going to mat this in Orchid Oasis. I'm having a bit of an Orchid Oasis week, I think. And I'm also starting to think that, you know, I've only got a year more with these, um, these colours. I'm not even sure that I've made a card with the Tahitian Tide, so I may have to, or not many cards. Probably one to show the colour, but that was it. So I think I should concentrate on those a little bit. But then we've got all these new colours that have uh, either come back or they're just new colours. Yeah, it's an exciting time. And it's, it feels like it's impossible to use everything. <laughs> So this is going on a white uh, card base. And then we need some of the pearls. And you can see that I'm kind of concentrating on this one, the Orchid Oasis at the moment. <laughs> And that is the first card complete. So move that one out of the way. And then we can move on to our next card, which is this one. On Lost Lagoon. Love it. So I've got my white layer. Put that one there. I need some Lost Lagoon. Oh, I didn't need it on my thumb, but hey, there we go. And Melon Mambo. And here's our stamp. So I'm going to start with some Lost Lagoon. I remember to actually wet this this time. I know last time I didn't. Melon Mambo. Then we'll go back to the Lost Lagoon. And finish it off with some Orchid Oasis. Yeah. 
me just close these up a bit. Okay, now I need my Wink of Stella. I'm just going to add a little bit in the center of each flower. a little sparkle I thought that one would bleed right so that's that then we want to put it onto onto its card base which is Lost Lagoon And I didn't, did, I decided to do the Just a Note and the die cut because it only just fits and there was no way I was going to be able to have this cut out and then stamp it. So I did it in advance. But it comes from the same ink and tile set and... I think I've shown you these before because I'm so excited about them. <laughs> You've got a, what five five square ones, the four flagged, and I think yes, yeah, there's six circles, so it should cover most of what you need. Most of because I normally um cut out the shapes and then do the stamping but this would be very difficult to actually get it straight and to hit it and so on so I thought you know what I'll do it in advance everyone knows how to do die cutting and stamping or in this case of course stamping and die cutting which makes life a lot easier Okay, so I'm going to pop it up with some mini dimensionals. Saves cutting them in half. Try and get rid of the bats. Come on. Right, so. <laughs> I reckon. About there. Oh, no, I don't. It should be straight. There. Is that straight? No, it isn't. It still isn't straight. Right, now it's straight. It's much easier to look at it from the side. Take that one out of the way and now we're on to our homemade DSP so I've got pretty peacock for this large bunch of leaves
And yes, I put my finger in it. Great. <laughs> uh, right, now we've got this little one, which I'm going to use with some of the gaps. Uh, maybe. Seems like it ought to be able to go in here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Right, and then I've got this little, I think it's actually supposed to be a, um, the centre of the, the flower, but I decided to add it to my, my DSP. this so seeing as I keep putting my fingers on the ink I'm going to move this out of the way yeah just noticed I haven't actually done the put the shade in which would be useful for things like this so put this in so i'm going to show you how i do it so i've got this i can just peel it up and then i get my piercing tool and lay this around the there we go it's in the right place now so then i can Stick it down and use the back of the tool to make sure it goes down properly, like so. So that's how I do it. If you've got better ways, let me know. Because <laughs> I usually end up with uh, ink on myself. Let me just get it off my fingernails because otherwise it will be everywhere. Right, so our DSP is going on the card base, which you'll be surprised to hear is Orchid Oasis. <laughs> well, I've got another full pack of it, so I need to keep on with it. Mind you, I think I've probably got a couple of packs of Starry Sky because I thought that was going to be my favourite. Okay. And then I've got two stamps. So it says, hello friend, lots of love. So, and... That fits in my the die that I've cut from the whatever it's called. I've forgotten again. You think I'd remember? Stylish shapes dies. Okay. I was gonna say you'd see you'd have seen that I used it a lot this week, but. You wouldn't because uh, unless you went to my blog, of course. So it's got this nice, you know, holes around the edge. Right. Um, 
let's um will that fit yes it will excellent just drop that there that takes care of that side and then we'll just add a few of these two well it doesn't need it to hold it on but i don't want it sagging in the middle so there we go take this off take a couple of these off and we're good to put it on the on the card And then the final touch, some more of these. Oops, I thought it was a there. You know, I think this calls for a few more. There. Definitely going to need more of those. one now. So where are oh, there they are. Move these out of the way before they get messed up. And oh they're all they're all vertical today. I didn't make them all at the same time so you kind of forget what you did, you know. So that's what I made with the inked and tiled. I hope you enjoyed watching and that it's inspired you to have a go. Um, yeah, I still, I wanted to use this. I'm still not really sure what it is. I'm, I was thinking I would maybe use it as the ground, but yeah. It didn't get in these three, so, but pretty much everything else did, I think. Let's see. Yes, so I didn't do that, and I have a couple of sentiments. Can't always use all the sentiments. So, anyway, that is what we did. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next week. Thank you for joining me and have a great week.